Welcome back to Vault Hunters 118. In the last episode, we got 10 knowledge stars worth of knowledge shards, bringing us up to about 12 stars of knowledge in shards of knowledge. Uh, look, my point is we have enough to make 14 knowledge stars, which is what we need for mechanism generators. The only problem is our Beniatite game and our Vault Diamond game are pretty bad. Now, the Beniatite we can fortune, so I just say we take all of our Benny boys and get these guys fortuned up. It's always a good day starting with three stacks of Beniatite. All right, let's see how many extraordinary Benny boys we can make. Perfect, 17, that's all we need. Now we do need to be able to make the knowledge cores, which is where we're gonna, yeah. <laughs> Six is not 14. So we need eight more knowledge cores worth of vault diamonds, which is an entire stack of vault diamonds. And I think I know how we are going to get it. Gilded chests, catalysts. So we got two chunky mobs, we have a furious, and we have a trapped. Now trapped is very sad, uh, but we have eyes of aver avarice, not avernus, avarice. So I'm hoping that I could uh, put all this stuff on without exhausting, and then we get to put the eye of avarice on, because it really sucked to get trapped. Alrighty, let's cross our fingers for some good luck here. Yes! Oh, so lucky. So, that means that we can put our Eye of Avarice on and completely negate Trapped. We didn't even get another other modifier, so it's actually just two times Chunky, one times Furious, which is not actually that bad. And you know what? I just want to get right into this, because... I'm pretty sure we should be able to get the vault diamonds we need. I, I, maybe, maybe, maybe it's a little crazy of me to think that, but for some reason, I've got it in my head that we can get a stack of vault diamonds in this vault right here, right now. And that would mean that we're able to unlock our awesome mod. Oh, I did not change my hunter. That is very sad, but I'll have to deal with it. But I'm hoping that we could actually do this in this vault because I genuinely want to get into starting on mechanism generators, starting what is called the fission reactor, which can produce millions of FE per tick. Millions of FE per tick. Yeah, it is so, so, so good. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited for it. It'll solve all of our energy issues. Like it's impossible to have energy issues when you're producing millions. Um, and then, of course, you could even upgrade into the fission reactor. Oh, I forget that we're going to be getting runes and even jewels and stuff. Now, my goal with this vault is uh, not to go into that factory room over there, uh, but to go into easy rooms and easy POIs, or not even POIs, but easy chests. Just run through the rooms as fast as I can, targeting the easiest ones. Uh, wow, a village room over here. <laughs> um, I suppose we'll see some gilded chests dotted around the surface oh it's just like the old days you know remember when there were gilded chests that spawned in the village rooms well because there's only wooden chests and gilded chests but uh i digress i digress we're gonna be sticking to the easiest one so i'm not gonna be like searching every room top to bottom because i feel like in my mind we'll loot more gilded chests if i stick to the easiest ones right that that makes sense and looking at the amount of obelisks we have i'm also going to try for a completion because you can get a pretty pretty decent amount of vault diamonds in completion crates like i've seen seven vault diamonds in a completion crate it's really good whoops i did not mean to activate that thank you mini me Woo. well you know what while we're uh talking i'll take this time to ask uh if you're new to the channel or if you haven't subscribed yet to please consider subscribing we are so, so close to 1,000 subscribers. Less than 100 people away. It would mean the world to me if you would consider that. You know, join your, uh, you know, before 1,000 club. <laughs> but thank you so much, by the way, to the support these videos have been getting. It's completely unreal. Yeah, this is, um... I, I'm not, I, like, what, what, <laughs> how do I even, how do I even say thank you for nearly a thousand subscribers? Even just, even just the prospect of getting to a thousand subscribers is so surreal to me. Such a huge number. I, I couldn't appreciate you guys more. 
Oh, nice. It'll be really nice to have this because this is the main track uh, straight out from the vault portal. So if I just need to know where a quick and easy obelisk is, I just have to line myself up with the vault portal and run uh, west is where we're facing today. Okay, cool. So pretty much the completion is in the bag as long as I don't uh, go too long. So let's try not to get greedy here, but it's so easy to get greedy in these chest vaults because there's chests everywhere. Look at all this loot we're going to have. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize... We're going to have so many mystery boxes. Oh, that'll be fun. Oh, I've been quiet this vault. You can see a lot of time has passed since I last spoke, or probably a lot of time has passed. I have really bad time blindness. Yeah, I don't uh, I don't really have any way to accurately tell how long something has been unless I've been looking at a clock. Uh, nor do I have an idea how long something will take. So there's a little fun fact about me. I, I have really, 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 really bad time blindness. So maybe it's been a while or maybe I've been nonstop talking and I will have to edit out a ton of me. Um, <laughs> it's a little, little behind the scenes. Um, but anyways, anyways, how are you guys doing? You guys been doing things fun recently? I hope so. Last yesterday, last night, I had, I had some friends over and I got to introduce one of them to Bullet Train, which is really exciting because I love that movie. Bullet Train is such a good movie. Um, so fun. And tonight we're going to be watching the new Puss in Boots. We're buying it because it deserves to be bought. It's an amazing movie. If you haven't seen Puss in Boots and you like to have fun, go see the new Puss in Boots. It's so good. So good. I hope it is like industry defining because it is amazing. And I was just, I, have any of you guys seen Puss in Boots or Bullet Train? I mean, Bullet Train is a little less new. Not that Puss in Boots is that new of a movie, all things considered. But have you guys seen it? It's so good, and I want to talk about it <laughs> because I love it. It's it's it looks good, and, and like the first Puss in Boots um, was a good movie. I, I actually really liked it. It was a great, great, great spinoff. You don't usually see really high quality spinoffs, but DreamWorks. I mean, it's DreamWorks make good movies. But I'm also curious what your guys' movie nights usually consist of. You know, mine mine is typically. Um, like as far as like go to movies for movie night, right? We're usually looking at DreamWorks stuff, uh, How to Train Your Dragon, Kung Fu Panda, um, Shrek here and there, uh, Puss in Boots, obviously, especially now, The Last Wish. Um, but uh, Lord of the Rings as well. Um, so, what are you guys, what are your go to movie night movies? Um, let's just do a bunch of movie reviews in the comments. <laughs> That'd be really fun, I think. Ooh. I love it when they're next to each other. And two clumps? Well, that's just treating us. All right, with three minutes on the clock, I'm going to start checking uh, if we are close to the room with the easy obelisk. I don't think I would have passed it by now. So I'm just going to kind of do a bob and weave strategy. Maybe until... Or, you know what? Um, 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 oh, I made a little Chewbacca sound. Uh, maybe, maybe I should probably stick to just running these. I don't know, but greed. Greed is good. I wonder, is it more greedy to not complete the vault and just go for looting Gilded Chests? Or is it more greedy to go for completing the vault instead of looting the Gilded Chests? I guess because I'm greeting for the possibility of, like, more fantastical loot by completing. Because you can get, you know, high level jewels, lots of vault diamonds, good vault gear, an artifact. I mean, with our artifact luck, maybe, right? Maybe. Well, seeing as I'm right on the obelisk, I'm going to say it's more greedy to go for the obelisk. Ow! Ow, ow, ow. Owie. Why would you do that? That was so mean. All right. Ignoring all of the spooky, scary enemies. Hey. I really like the Kill the Guardians thing. I know... I know they are going to be updating it, okay, to uh, make them a lot better in water, which is fine, because even out of the water, it's still possible and interesting, so I am a-okay with that. I think it's a really cool uh, concept. Any last-minute Gilder Boys I missed? Doesn't look like it. I was pretty thorough. Oh, I hope I got those guys up there. I don't think I did. 15... 1,000 experience. 15,000 experience with 174 chests looted. Now, some of those are wooden chests, because wooden chests can give you vault 
diamonds. So let's see, 135 gilded chests. I'm gonna be honest, I haven't checked how many vault diamonds we have. Pretty sure that'll be it. And look at all the runes and jewels. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna take out all of the junk blocks because I think some loot is definitely gonna go into our junk pouch, which is fine. When we open this guy, bammo. Ooh, that looked interesting. Okay, let's look at this guy first. Fun, got an unidentified relic. Ooh, epic plus pants and a little bit of booties, even a memory shard, that's quite good. A lot of jewels for me to go through, which I shall, I shall. Uh, let's see, X mark room, that's a great rune. Dragon room, that's a great rune. And another X mark rune, ooh. That's a great rune. All right, before we do our rollables, Oh, no, we didn't get a stack, but we did get 50. We did get 50, which is, I mean, that's really cool. We also got 29 mystery boxes and 35 relic booster packs, 24 mod boxes. Whoa, still very good. I, I, maybe I was off. Maybe my math was off. Maybe my math was off. While that's going, we'll do our rollables. Oh, whoops. Uh, we got a water element, which I think we already had two of. Very unfortunate. But we get to roll epic pants and not epic boots. Ooh, furnace leggings. All right, well, the boots are not that good. The furnace leggings are not also that good. Yeah, these guys are way better. But it's not bad to have these. What do they look like? Very interesting. They have no knees. Interesting, interesting. As much as it pains me, I think I'm just going to scrap them. Unfortunately, the only jewels we really got out of this were like shoveling and picking jewels. That's all right. We get a ton of gemstones to craft more jewels with, though not in today's episode. Oh, I have the best girlfriend. She just brought me in some Starbucks coffee because I am a sleepy little guy today. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Can we make enough knowledge cores with the vault diamonds that we have? I hope so. Maybe we need, uh, what is this, eight more? Ah, two off, two off. We need nine more. Hmm, I could run another vault or, or we could try to trade for them from the soul shirt menu. You can find them pretty cheap sometimes. So let's trade low. Oh, there we go. One. Okay, that's all the soul shards we got. I think I am gonna go through and soul shard. Ooh, not that, not that. Oh, I'm gonna go soul shard all of our infused vault catalysts that have like haunted, opulent, prosperous extended on it because you're not supposed to be able to get those anymore. They, they remove those for balancing reasons. So I think I will just soul shard these guys because I feel like they're gonna be more worthwhile to me soul sharding them than re-rolling them since it'll take two blocks of vault diamonds to actually properly re-roll them and we lose them in the process and they're worth a lot. So I'm gonna just soul them all up and why not roll our 37 relic booster packs and 30 mystery boxes while we wait. Who knows, we could get lucky. Uh-huh, got a twitch emote and an air element. Let's see, uh, already had it, already had it. Dang. This time I'm gonna remember to remove my magnet. I'm gonna do a circle around this guy. Oh, wait, uh, that was a terrible idea. I'll do, okay, now we're gonna do a... <laughs> okay, that didn't go well at all. Uh, oh, looks like it went in here. 51 diamonds, emeralds, a little bit of Laramar. You know what, you know what, I'll take the Laramar. Definitely, uh, mystery boxes don't feel as good as they used to. Well, I hope 1.5 thousand is enough to get eight more vault diamonds. It's gotta be. Well, normally I'd get that repair core, but uh, we're doing vault diamonds. Staying focused. Oh, a key... Why? Why is it always... I'm always tempted. Okay. Vault Diamond. That's very high for a Vault Diamond, but we'll still pick it up. Ooh, three Vault Diamond. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's quite good, but three Vault Diamonds. Yes, three more Vault Diamonds. Oh, well, I'm still going to buy the regular Diamonds, but I got way too excited for them. I was like, oh, Vault Diamonds. Wait, nine. Hey, we did it. We did it with more to spare. All right, well... Maybe, maybe we could get something good again? Maybe we could see something really cool and good again? Yeah, I'll get more Vault Diamonds. That was lucky. Man, we got some good luck. And there we go. 
14 cores, which means all I have to do is surround them to get 14 stars. But before we eat our stars, I've got to name the cat Lux. Lux is the new cat. It was suggested because of how lucky we got with the Wither Spawn Egg, and we just got so lucky with Vault Diamonds, so I just had to name him Lux. Welcome to the crew. Okay, now we can eat the stars. Oh, we are gonna be making so much power. Oh, wait! Hey! I didn't know we got unlocks for that. Isn't that great, Lux? Yeah, he agrees. What's the chest plate look like? The chest plate on the other one is really cool. Let's see. Light mecha, dark mecha. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, don't tell me I could be a dark, scary spaceman. Oh, my gosh! <laughs> I really like the transmog set we have now, but Dark Scary Spaceman. <laughs> that sounds... Oh. Ugh. Okay, okay, okay. I need to get out a bunch of bronze because because we, we have to see what this looks like. Okay, but what do we look like? Oh. Oh, he looks so beefy, but the rainbow does not... Does not look good. Oh, I see why the pants are like... Okay, the rainbow doesn't look good with this. So I need to cut the rainbow. But that... It kind of sucks because the rainbow runes are a little annoying. Ah, it's worth it, it's worth it, it's worth it. Oh my gosh, we look so cool. This looks so good. And I look like a, like a, um, like a 90s, like, space ranger with my, <laughs> with my rainbow blade. <gasps> I love it. I love how this looks. Can never get enough of transmogs. But what Mechanism Generators unlocks for us is the ability to create uh, some of the most ridiculous uh, goofy forms of producing power in the game and the starter one is a fission reactor which amongst many other things requires fission reactor casing fission reactor ports it doesn't require a fission reactor logic adapter but you should have it you need fission fuel assembly you need uh what are they called like control rod assemblies right and that is just to build the reactor you need fissile fuel you need a wind turbine you probably honestly want to make uh, an induction matrix. Is that what it's called, an induction matrix? We need a lot. So we're not actually gonna be like doing, right? We're not gonna be producing any power in this episode, but I want to get a foothold. I do, I do, I do. For that, we need a location far away from our base to actually build this stuff. Why do we want it to be far away from our base? Because we don't want it to explode because uh, these reactors explode and cause big, big problems. And we can chunk of the area around it with our weirding gadgets. And where, you know, what location, what biome comes to mind when you think power? Volcano. For me, volcano, volcano. There we go. I want volcanoes. Wait, volcanic crater or volcanic peak? Ooh, let's try a volcanic crater. Well, that's not too far. Let us bring a horp stone as well as a waste stone. Oh, it has been a good long while since we have just gone on a biome hunting adventure. I'm super excited. I'm curious what the difference between the crater and the peaks are. All right, we should be approaching it right now. Imagining it's about to load in, seeing this. Oh, okay. All right, this is looking cool. Let's see. Oh, it looks like a dragon room, kinda. Whoa. Oh, this is, this is speaking to me. This is screaming nuclear power to me. Hmm. Ooh, there's a lot of lava flow though. Interesting, interesting. I like the location. The only problem is that there really isn't a lot of place to build, right? Well, I suppose there's a big flat area over here. I could briefly like replace the lava with obsidian. Oh my gosh, is that a, is there a village right now? Hold on. Now, hold on, villagers. This can't be a good place to make a home. <laughs> Wait, is there a giant lava-filled cave system here? Hold on. <laughs> hold on, we're exploring right now. What? Oh boy, that's a little toasty. Oh, this looks cool. Oh, look at the lava goes all the way down there. Oh my gosh, this place looks really cool. Oh, I see. This, okay, this whole thing is a package deal. So wait, if I keep exploring, 
Oh. Oh, it's massive. <laughs> oh. Ah, you see the chunks hadn't rendered in because all the lava was lagging the game out. Wow. Yes. Yes. If you've played Hypixel Skyblock before, uh, this looks like that one arena. Yes, this is it. This is where we will produce the ultimate power source. The nuclear plant will be ours. Oh my gosh, this place is so obscenely cool. I'm not gonna get anything crazy set up just yet. I will place down a little weirding gadget because I do want this place chunk loaded. Hmm, okay, okay. Now, unfortunately, we can't actually get too far into the whole thing because to produce fissile fuel, you'll see um, we need multiple things that require a lot of vault diamonds. And uh, we have no vault diamonds. In terms of vault diamonds, there are no vault diamonds. So I'm gonna need to run some vaults off camera before I can really dive into this. But I figured we could get some stuff. I mean, I might as well like, you know, get some fission reactor casing made because lead ingots and steel casing, we have plenty, plenty, plenty of. And I recently crafted up a bunch of steel that I just all turned into blocks. Probably gonna need more steel. Um, but I figure why not get, uh, I don't know, uh, this many casings and just turn it all, turn it all into fission reactor stuff. You should probably also get some of this reactor glass considering how cheap it is compared to, uh, the fission reactor casing, we just need this enriched iron, which is pretty easy to run iron through a metallurgic infuser, which I'm gonna go do now. Okay, got our enriched iron. Let us make some reactor glass. Uh, this should be nice and cheap. And the reason we can use, or the reason I really wanna use reactor glass is because it's a lot cheaper to use. Um, so where do I wanna build this over? I wanna build this over like this lava pool here, I guess. I should probably picked up some blocks. Here, I'll use this basalt as a building block. I wanna do, I mean, let's see. We can do a three by three, a four by four, a five by five. Uh, I wanna try a five by five. Maybe that's really excessive. Uh, potentially it's extremely excessive, but I'm just curious to see what that would be. Oh boy, expensive. Oh my gosh, that <laughs> costs a lot. Uh, let's see. And two, three, four, five. Uh, yeah, okay. I need to make more of this stuff. Oh, ran out of chromatic steel. Oh boy, that's not a good sign for what's to come. Uh, 24 more actually should cover it though. What, what's nice about building the five by five though, is that like, this should translate to, uh, more power than we're gonna need to generate for a while, right? So the hope the hope is that this covers us for a good long time. And then what's really nice is I could use reactor glass to fill in the walls here so that we don't have to worry about spending a ton of reactor casings. Uh, and I'm also just gonna cut a little doorway for us. And I think, correct me if I'm wrong, you just have to line the top and then the rest of it can be reactor glass as well. I think. This is probably correct. Is this, is it correct? I don't know. I hope so. Uh, more intelligent people let me know in the comments. I really hope I didn't mess this up. It would really suck to try to break this stuff in lava. 